Hi, this is Joseph. I'm down here in my basement. I'm on my table here. Got a couple of packages. This is my train layout. I have a small layout that I built a few years ago that I never finished. I want to get this basement finished where I can uh, have a place to put my trains. But I've um, got a couple of packages from eBay. And the first one we'll look at is this long box here. I don't collect a lot of HO scale trains. I have most of what I want from the railroads that I like, but there's one locomotive I did not have in my collection that I finally got. Uh, I've been waiting to get it at a decent price. And it is this. Came in this long box. The Broadway Limited. Paragon series, dual mold sound and operation for DC and DCC. I'm still in DC mode, <laughs> but it is this. This is a Seaboard Airline Centipede. And I'll need to get that out of there and show you exactly what a centipede is. Don't want to mess it up. Let's see if I can get it out of the plastic here where you can see the wheels. Why they call it a centipede. It's got all those wheels. Nothing but wheels. Only a few railroads got these. Seaboard, I think Pennsylvania and Mexican Railroad. There's not many railroads that had them. The Seaboard was one. And a nice locomotive. I'll get it out here. I don't know if it'll work on my layout. My layout's 18 inch radius track for the most part, so it may not run good on that, but we'll try it out in a minute. And we'll get to the other box, which came from the Netherlands. It'll take me a second to open this. Hold on a minute. I'm a little odd in my taste in railroad collecting. I'm not necessarily concerned about prototypical operation or if I'm running trains in the correct time period. I do like the 50s. Yes, for most people that collect model trains, that seems to be what they like. All right, this is not American Railroad. This these. These are from the Netherlands, and it is some TGV locomotives and passenger cars. So I need to get all this stuff out of the plastic, and then I'll show, show you what it looks like. All right, here's the TGV that I just bought here. It's got six units. The motor is in one of the middle coaches, and it is not very powerful at all. The one in the background, that's the one from a previous video I got. This one is its not a very powerful mo locomotive. Let's see if I can get this thing to go. See, that's track number five. Yeah, it's just weak. It's got a lot of slippage to it. It's one of these middle coaches. just does not have the traction to pull this very poor quality it does run I'm separated here it's got these weird connectors is it does not have the traction to pull. This one's got a weight in it. I almost feel like it should have a motor in it as well. So I'll have to tinker with this a little bit to get this thing to work right. Just got the one drive unit so it loses power when it goes over a switch track. I'm just spinning wheels there. Not the best model in the world. I wonder if this one's supposed to be motorized too. I may have them in the wrong place here. 
So that's the um, TGV. All right, and here's my Seaboard Centipede. Make sure all the wheels are on there. May not look right running on this small 4x8 layout. I would like to have one of these made out of Lego. See if this thing will run. Oh, no. oh it's got sound. That is neat. I did not know that. I well, said it had sound, but I didn't know it would run on DC. And it does look ridiculous going around an 18 inch radius curve, but it made it. <laughs> Definitely does not need to be on this type of radius. But it runs. <laughs> 